and here step by step guide i will show you how to install wordpress with ftp account follow these all steps very carefully first of all we have to download ftp client in our computer in my case i'm using filezilla so on your computer browser type filezilla and open the first link and here we have to download filezilla client so click on filezilla client click on download filezilla client according to your computer requirement just download the filezilla client once you successfully downloaded the installer go to your file explorer and go to your download folder and here we can see the filezilla installer launch the installer click on yes to run installation process here click on i agree check accept and click on next and here select add and click on next 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 and click on install and it may take some moments to install the filezilla client once installed check this box and click on finish and here we can see the filezilla ftp account client dashboard open now we have to download wordpress files so open your browser again and this time search for wordpress.org and you will directly jump into wordpress org website here click on get wordpress and download wordpress here you can see it's downloading now we have to connect our ftp we have to connect our filezilla ftp to your uh, web server so open filezilla client and here we can see the host field username field password field and the port field so enter here your ftp account host name username your ftp account password and your ftp password to get all of this credential go to your cpanel and from your cpanel you have to open ftp accounts scroll down and here you will find all of you created ftp account so all you have to need click on configure ftp account and here you will find your ftp account credential or you can directly get your ftp account uh, all uh, information by contacting with your cpanel or hosting provider customer support once you successfully enter all of this information now click on quick connect And here we can see I've successfully connected my filezilla with my web server. And in this left hand menu, you find all of your local files and folders. And in this right hand menu, you find your web server, all files and folders. Now go to your file explorer again. And here you will find the WordPress file that we just download. Now we have to upload this file here. Before that, make sure to extract or unzip the file okay now open the filezilla dashboard and here in this uh, right hand menu navigate to your website folder so in my case i'm going to upload or install wordpress in this domain so i'm just opening this folder and here once you are in your website folder now go to your local disk download folder so here's selecting the download folder and here we can see the wordpress folder i'm opening wordpress folder and now we have to select all of these files from wordpress folder so select all by pressing ctrl a and now right click any of the selected file and click on upload and all of your WordPress file and folders will upload in your web server just like so. And once you successfully uploaded your WordPress files in your website 
server or folder now we have to create a database for our wordpress website so again go to your cpanel and now from your cpanel you have to open mysql databases and now let's create a new database so i'm giving my database name add create database go back and under current database here as you can see my database successfully add date and now we have to create a mysql new user so come to this mysql users and in this add new user type username and create a strong password for the account you can generate password from here so copy this password first of all in a safe place and then click on create user go back and once you successfully created a database and a mysql user for your new wordpress account now you have to add the user to the database so come to this add user to database section and here click on this user drop down and select the new user and database select the database in which database you want to add the new user and then click on add and that's it here i'm selecting all privileges and clicking on make changes and that's it now go back from this page and now it's time to install wordpress in our site so type your domain name and here we can see the wordpress setup or installation window select here your language and click on continue and click on let's go and now here we have to add our database name database mysql username mysql password so my database name is this one i'm just copying my database name pasting it here and this is my mysql username i'm just copying and pasting into this box and here we have to paste our mysql user account password and database host select localhost and click on submit and here click on run the installation and now write here your wordpress website title add here your wordpress dashboard login username and add here a password and click on install wordpress you must enter a email address here and then click on install wordpress and that's it i have successfully installed wordpress using ftp account now let's click on login to log into my wordpress admin dashboard and now you can go ahead and customize your wordpress website thanks for watching